Hello everybody, Joe Esposito, looking at your uh, appliances and your smart appliances that will uh, interconnect with your smart meters and will tell the utility how much you're using and how often you're using and the time you're using. And today is uh, the fifth, the um, second day of the fifth, uh, 15, and we're at a customer's home right here and we have her um, GE Profile Smart Oven and we're going to listen to it work. Um, the refrigerators and other devices uh, we've looked at uh, also do that. So here we have our meter that reads microwave radiation. Uh, that's what these emit. Um, and so this right now is reading about three, four microwatts per meter squared. And so now we're going to turn this, customer's going to turn this on. It's going to warm up a little bit. So we're going to see right now it's just starting and it's at 726 and so we're going to come back in about three minutes and then we'll see what it does. Okay, we're back um, doing this little information experiment here. Uh, the oven's been off maybe three or four minutes and so now we're going to turn it off. The customer's going to turn it off and we're going to watch the meter and can you zoom in on that meter? And let's watch what the meter does. Okay, we didn't get a reading. Let's, let's turn it back on for a second and just see if we can get it then. There it went. It just transmitted at 64 when she turned it back on. Um, so that's who we're going to, let's turn it back off again now and just see if we can get that transmission. Okay, just then, you saw the meter, it went over 200 microwatts. It, this, let's go to 2000 and let's do that again. Just a minute, no, wait, let me get down. Um, okay, now let's go, watch, watch, it's a 2000 microwatts, so let's see if we can catch it how strong that transmission is. Okay, let's turn it back off again. Okay, it was it was 1187 microwatts when it when she did that. So we know it's transmitting. Um, this is a microwatt reading meter and we know at the power level that it just transmitted. Now what are they collecting? Are they collecting how long she's cooking, uh, how much energy she, like she's cooking, um, at what time of day this is. Um, so we don't know. But PSO is now collecting all this information on people. Uh, this, this house does not have a smart meter yet, but it's still transmitting. So as soon as the smart meter comes aboard this home, then it'll be transmitting um, constantly, day in and day out, and this is just the, the oven, and she has a microwave, and she has a refrigerator, and then all the other appliances uh, could all have Zigbee's in them also. So I think that's a big intrusion of privacy, wouldn't you all say? I mean, you want PSO to know all that kind of information about what you're doing and how you're doing everything, and what time of day, when you're home and when you're not home. Um, I guess that's up to you uh, to complain to PSO or the Oklahoma Corporation Commission as Attorney General Scott Pruitt, your state legislators, because they don't tell them the public what they're doing here. Okay. Well, thank you for being part of our experiment today, and you can obviously see that these things are transmitting. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Sean Cranish, the EMF Explorer from ElectroHealth.com and I am measuring some RF or radio frequency radiation in my home. I have here the acoustometer. Now normally I use the HF35C but in this case the acoustometer turned out to be just a little more handy so most of the time it's the HF35C. This time we'll use the acoustometer. So I was in my home and I was hearing a uh, rubber band kind of a vibrating sound on the acoustometer. 
kind of going, it, it was faint in most areas, but it was there, background. I assumed it was coming from outside of the house. You can hear it now. Oh, there's some radio coming in there as well. I actually hear some music. You hear about every two to three seconds, you hear that, that sound come through. So, I made the false assumption that it was coming from outside of the house, but I actually found it to be coming from a source inside. When I went into my kitchen, as you can see it becomes louder, the numbers go up, the LEDs turn into yellow or orange from green, and what could it be? Well, I determined it was our new Samsung refrigerator. You can see right there, very loud, very clear. If we open it up, quite loud. So, knowing this and knowing that nothing else in my kitchen produces RF, or in my house for that matter, produces RF, I figured it was the refrigerator. And the way to verify that is to shut the power off on the refrigerator. So I went downstairs and just flipped the circuit breaker. But here to, to demonstrate to you what that does, I'm using a, a little wireless remote control. So I hooked this up to the ref refrigerator so I could turn the power on and off for you in the video. This unit we sell on our website, it comes with a, a little handheld transmitter. Now this does use radio frequency but it's only for an instant and, and it's not too often that uh, you know maybe you use it once a day or something like that so it's not too big of a deal. You'll you actually notice when I hit the button here it's going to spike up and, and probably get pretty loud the moment I hit the button. So the refrigerator is on right now you can tell because the light on the front is on and we're getting microwave or our, um, microwave radiation. So I'm going to turn it off, turn the refrigerator off. Okay. So now you look, you can see the lights have gone off here. And look what else happened. Everything got quiet. No more lights showing here. Very low background radio frequency radiation. I, I live in a pretty good area. So let's see it again. I'll even back up so you can see the refrigerator turn on. I'm going to turn it back on. You'll, you'll see the momentary, you'll see the acoustometer pick up the momentary transmission from the uh, wireless on off power switch. And there we go. You can see the refrigerator is coming online. Ice maker is turning on. So far, so good. No radiation yet. It's probably still booty. Oh, look at that. Great. So now my smart refrigerator, which is not so smart, but it's producing radiation, radio frequency radiation. For some reason, Samsung feels that my refrigerator needs to be able to communicate with a wireless router and a smart meter, and that I need to control it with a smartphone. I don't feel that way, and when I bought this thing, it definitely was not advertised. You have to dig into the manual, deep into the 100-page the instruction manual, to see any mention of this. And uh, the next thing I will do is disable it. Not on this video, but uh, perhaps on another video. But before I disabled it, I wanted to show you what it's like to pick up RF from an appliance. So you do want to get up right close to the appliance with either the HF35C or the acoustometer. And if you have something like this, it may seem like a low level, but it's, it's uh, so frequent. And it doesn't take much for a sensitive person, 
Um, I'm pretty sensitive. My wife is pretty sensitive. Um, it doesn't take much to affect the health, so we really want to eliminate completely any radiation in the home. And on that note, I think I will just shut this back off. There you go. The refrigerator's off. The radiation stops. What is that? That's a little smart chip, a little smart device in these new smart appliances. Well, everything else in the kitchen is fine. Pick up a little radio station there. So, this is why it's so handy. You can never be too certain. You always want to check appliances, especially when you buy a new appliance. Check it with a good RF meter because you just you just never know if that is in there. They may not mention it in the manual. They may not mention it. Uh, they probably won't mention it when you um, on the promotional material when you when you buy it. Salesman probably doesn't know anything about it. So you really want to verify with a uh, with an RF meter that your appliance, your refrigerator, freezer, oven range, you name it, that it doesn't uh, have one of these smart features that, that uh, feels the need to broadcast microwave radiation constantly for no reason, even though you're not using it. Or So, that's what an RF meter is for. That's why it's important to check everything out, and by checking everything, finding the problem, you can solve the problem, as I will next, by disabling that chip in the in the uh, refrigerator here so there you go appliances do transmit this is Sean from Electra Health the EMF Explorer electrahealth.com go on here to get your acoustometer or HF35C and we can help you with what to measure as well have a great day Sean Cranish, the EMF Explorer from ElectraHealth.com here, and this is a follow-up to the video about the Samsung refrigerator emitting RF radiation all the time. So here was my solution, and I got a lot of emails from many, many people uh, looking forward to the solution. In this case, it was really easy. Hopefully, if you're facing this problem, it's as easy for you, um, but here's what the back of my refrigerator looked like. Um, on the back, there was a nice panel in the top right corner. You can see there's three screws here holding the, the panel in and right below the panel was a little icon of a wireless transmitter and so right away I saw that and said hey this must be the spot Let's see if I can get you a, another close-up you can see it's just three screws one here one here and one here they're just regular Phillips screws now uh, before undoing any screws or opening anything in the refrigerator make sure you unplug it that's very important. You want to definitely unplug it uh, so there's no live electricity coming to it. Here's a close-up of that icon, the little transmitter. Okay, here's inside. So we have a printed circuit board. Um, here's a little power supply. So I was looking around here at first when I opened it up, and I'm, I'm looking for some kind of an, an antenna, some kind of a, a radio transmitter. Um, so at first I was looking over here, and then I realized, no, that's just a, just a power supply. Um, then I'm looking around here on the printed circuit board and I didn't see anything that looked like a radio transmitter. So then I started looking at each of the cables here and reading what the cables said, if uh, some were labeled. And I came across a little blue clip cable and it looked like it said Wi-Fi module above it. Here's a close-up. You can see, indeed, it says Wi-Fi module. It's the, it was the only blue colored uh, clip. All the others were white. So with the refrigerator already off, of course, I simply unplugged that clip, just squeezed the little clip thing and pulled it straight out. I just tucked it up in here. It fit um, above this little uh, holder, this little uh, thing that's holding the printed circuit board. It just fit up there. I mean, you could always use electrical tape or something, but um, on the clip itself, there's no exposed 
contacts you have to uh, go in a little ways it, it's designed to have pins inserted into it so it's not uh, not a concern even if it did get loose but it's not going to move anywhere so I just stuck it up there um, here's a zoom out of that you can see it was as easy as unclipping that little cable so I spent probably around three hours on the phone with Samsung talked to uh, six different people and then even a couple uh, local appliance uh, companies repair companies that Samsung referred me to and uh, nobody uh, wanted to help or could help um, Samsung wouldn't let me talk to anybody to tell me how to do it so I just opened up the panel and found it was as easy as unclipping that little blue clip and I verified it I, I uh, put the panel back on verified it turned the refrigerator on everything works just as before everything functions great the only difference is there's no microwave radiation emitting from the refrigerator now. So uh, problem solved. This was an easy one and I hope that it's helpful. So the big thing is uh, if you haven't measured your appliances definitely get an RF meter. Um, the Acoustimeter is a good one. The, the HF35C is still my favorite because of its directionality but the Acoustimeter is also a great meter. That's the one I used in the previous video. Um, so visit our site electrohealth.com and uh, support the work that we continue to do and uh, we will find some more interesting things to help us all live a little bit safer with a little bit less exposure to RF and dirty electricity and magnetic fields various types of EMF so thank you very much signing out